Hey, language learners, welcome back to the channel. Have you been experimenting with using AI chat tools to support your language learning? I have in the recent weeks, and I've actually been using a tool that is native to China because my target language is Mandarin and I live in China. And I started thinking that it might be worth recommending to you guys to see what's out there in terms of AI generators and AI chat uh, programs that are from the native country where your target language is spoken. It could provide to you some insights. Uh, but anyway, in today's video, I'm gonna show you the tool from China that I'm playing around with and how I might use it to create some content that's more personalized to me, that suits my interests better, that could get me more motivated to study and learn new words. Okay, so this tool, uh, it's called Dobao. D-O-U-B-A-O uh, dot com. There must also be an app, but I'm just on the website right now. And it is free. You can get some a little bit of usage out of it totally for free without having to set up an account. And then if you want to use it more frequently, you may have to set up an account and provide some basic information. But, but that's really all you have to do. And then you can get a lot of uh, usage out of it. So what I did is because I like card games, you guys know I design language learning card games. I asked it, could you write a 10 step instruction set for how to make a great card game in simple language that a Chinese high school student could understand? And it came back with this. One of the things that I was having trouble with is getting it to put pinyin directly below the Chinese characters. Um, I, I know I've accomplished that before pretty easily, maybe with some other AI chat uh, generators. So I, I wasn't sure why, why I couldn't get it working that easily with this one this particular time. But anyways, uh, it's easy enough to sort it out on my own because then I just asked it next, could you provide me a full pinion translation of the above 10 steps? And then I got all the pinion for those steps. So I could just copy it myself into a notebook or, you know, it's, it's going to become part of my study process, so it doesn't really matter. Um, anyways, you can see the steps, what they're like. I'll, I'll scroll, scroll down to the English here in case you're not that familiar with Mandarin. But the steps are like this. Think of a good theme. Design the appearance of the cards. Determine the content of the cards. Set good game rules. Make a card sample. Ask classmates to try it out. Collect opinions, modify the game, prepare game accessories, share the game. So now this might not be 100% perfectly suited to what I'm doing, but that's, I mean, in terms of my, my game design and my work. But what I'm trying to do here is use this to support my language learning so that this is close enough to my interest that there's a lot of words in here that I could actually end up using in my daily life. So it's really suitable to me. It's really fun to me. And what I would do with this next is I would probably create some flashcards, try to learn the content, and also check some of these words that I'm practicing with a trusted friend or maybe a tutor. So I think what I'm seeing with these AI chat generators is a lot of what it writes, uh, the grammar will be perfect. Pronunci uh, the spelling will be perfect, stuff like that. But there's always the chance it could give you something that's inaccurate or not quite right or just a little bit weird. But I think it's safe enough to use and work with so long as you always keep in the back of your mind that it might not be 100% correct or accurate all the time. So I think, especially if, if it's really important, you know, the material that you're studying or what you're working on, you want to have it checked, I think, by someone that you can trust, someone who really knows the language to a high level or a fluent speaker or a professional or something like that. But I think for day-to-day -day study, and especially if you've been working with that language for a long time, like if you're maybe intermediate level or above, you're going to have a pretty good sense of is this accurate or not? Is this a correct or not? There might be some parts that could be a little fishy to you and you might circle those and check it with someone later. But I think, you know, on the whole, generally, this is a pretty exciting uh, new tool and new field that's exploded onto the scene here. And we can definitely use this to make more personalized resources. What I might also do is ask it to create a story about a boy who designed a card game 
You know, maybe it's a two or three page story with a witty ending, something that would be fun for me to read. I could ask it to make a dialogue about this topic that I could practice with a friend. I could ask it to create a keyword list, pull 10 keywords out of here and teach me them in English. Um, there might be, I haven't tried this yet, but there might even be a potential. I could ask it to make a quiz for me with some multiple choice questions based on the story um, or something like that. So what I really love is the chance here that we could use this to create our own personalized sort of resource sets or resource packages that are more tailored and targeted to us. And if we develop really good resources and if we get them checked by professionals or people who learn the language really, really well, then we wouldn't hesitate to share them with our friends. And we could, you know, we could each create a set of resources for a particular topic and then share them around in our communities or in our circle where a particular theme is really, really relevant to us and there's not really any resources available for that. Wouldn't that be a really fun way to learn a language? So that's what I want to share with you today as I'm trying to get into this more and understand it better, see what it can do for me. I think it could be pretty fun to chat and work with AI and develop some resources. Uh, but that's it for this one. Let me know down below what tools you're working with and from what countries. I would love to learn more about what's out there because um, I'm doing online game events with people from all over the world. They're learning different target languages. And if you have an AI uh, generation tool that you could recommend, for example, maybe Japanese or Turkish or Spanish, those are some of the groups that we've got going on right now, Mandarin as well. If you know some tools, especially for those languages, I'd like to hear about it because I could recommend it to our players. But that's it for this one. And thank you so much for watching. I'll see you back here next time.